In this India luxury food video, we're exploring the lavish Sunday brunch at Conrad Bengaluru, one of my absolute favorite luxury hotels in Bangalore. Welcome to Conrad Bengaluru, where we're going to enjoy a decadent festive Sunday brunch. From 8 live counters to 30 plus dessert, you can just come for the dessert buffet. A total of 100 plus dishes, the longest brunch hours, and each week a new brunch theme, this Sunday brunch sounds divine. So. Does it meet the expectations? Make sure to keep on watching until the end to see it all and decide for yourself. Hi, my name is Giovanna and I've been living in Bangalore now for almost five years. In my first year, Conrad Bengaluru was the first luxury hotel that I visited in Bangalore and ever since it has been one of my favorites with very valid reasons because Conrad Bengaluru is a very, very unique brand where an international allure is combined with an Indian identity and that's why I love coming back here over and over again. Today, we are going to enjoy delicious, healthy salads, amazing desserts, fantastic life counters, and I can't wait to jump into all of it. Let's do some live counters. So we got a delicious slider over here, or multiple sliders, which they make on this side. And there is also a fresh shawarma, which is currently being made. You can also opt for a pasta, all freshly made on the spot. Wow, this looks fantastic. My gosh, nothing less than a Michelin star restaurant in terms of looks. I, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it's very, very tasty. Then you can get a pizza made over here, freshly made, because these are all live counters. So you can see the pizza over here classic margarita shawarma over here. It's a chicken shawarma. I'm vegetarian, but I don't mind showing the non-veg options because obviously we, uh, we all have different preferences and tastes. Then we got some a little bit more oven-based dishes over here, more baked. We got a Cajun spiced sea bass with star anise burr blank. Oh wait, I, I just said that like very Dutch. Cajun spice sea bass with star anise beurre blanc and wilted greens. I still think it sounds very Dutch, but part of me, I, I don't speak fluent French. I speak a little bit of French. Then we got loaded potatoes with cheese and jalapenos. Oh my gosh, definitely want these. Then we got espresso infused caponata tartlet. That also looks very, very delicious. I think there's a lot of vegetables in there and it is a veg dish. And then we got home ground mustard spice mixed rubbed chicken drumstick. I mean, if you want a, a little bit less traditional Sunday roast, then I think this looks absolutely amazing. Then we're going to move into this section. Ooh, more pizza. Oh yeah. We got Brazilian chimichurri shrimps and charred pepper pizza over here. Well, that sounds very, very exotic. Definitely not something that I've seen anywhere else. So if you like shrimps on your pizza, then definitely try this out. And then next to it, we got a tenderloin wellington with pan shu. Wow, this looks so pretty. Nicely carved already. You can definitely get your fix here if you're non-veg. Then we're going into the fried chicken winglet. Oh my goodness. On a Sunday, isn't this like the perfect comfort food? <laughs> Especially if you had a party last night or something. Then we're getting into the sushi section. It's also one of my favorite sections. We got kakiage maki over here. This looks quite crispy. This is all veg on this side. So we also got yasai futomaki over here. And then we got oshinko maki over here. How beautiful does this look? All freshly made. Yasai means vegetables, I think. So this is definitely a veg maki. We got wasabi over here. Then we got spicy salmon maki. We got tempura ebi maki. So tempura shrimp maki. And then we got Kasai Rainbow Maki. That one looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, if you're into salmon and sushi, then definitely you will get your fix here. Then we got some soups. We got Burmese Khao Sui over here. We got Moroccan Harira soup over here. I love Harira soup, but this one is non-veg, so I'm guessing there's chicken in there. Uh, but this one definitely tent and try it because Moroccan Harira soup is so good. But the veg option is also definitely not too shabby. Burmese kausui is super, super delicious. So 
yeah, definitely try the soups. I, I want to go for that cow suey for sure. Then we got the other life counter over here. So they can make you some noodles or Asian dishes that you would like. I love the fact that everything is freshly made in front of you. So also it prevents food wastage, but also you get your food super, super fresh. So let's see what we have at the Asian counter. We got sayur kare, which is Balinese vegetable curry over here. Oh, I love that. Then we got Singapore style stir fried bamboo shoot and blood fungus. Yum. And we got Thai style pad krao, krapao gai. So this is chicken over here. We got tomato and sambal fried rice and Malaysian style yellow noodles. Oh, yum. These look so good. Of course, there has to be some biryani over here. We have two different varieties. The vegetable avadi biryani. Ooh, that looks so delicious. And then we got ambur chicken biryani over here. You can see the huge chunks of chicken in there as well. The sauces that go with biryani. My goodness, if you love biryani, then you're definitely going to get your fix here. We got a very, very entertaining life counter over here. Ooh. I think this is the fresh fish over here. Okay, so you can definitely pick some fresh fishes. Wow, oh my gosh, okay. We got scumpies over here, fresh fish in the back, more, oh wow. Okay, so definitely a lot of varieties of fresh fish that you can pick and they will make it freshly in front of you. You can see the chefs working in the back. This just looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, the aesthetics, That this is phenomenal. What an experience. I love the fact that there is an emphasis on quality instead of just quantity. So you'll get delicious fresh fish made in front of you. And there is a lot less food wastage than, you know, if we just go for quantity. Ooh, this, this is like really impressive. <laughs> After seeing all those delicious options, I am so hungry and I'm going to start off this delicious festive Sunday brunch with a beautiful bruschetta that I have in front of me. So there's a little labneh first and on top of that, there is a filling of zucchini and capsicum, roasted capsicum, which I really, really love. So cheers to a very, very festive Sunday brunch. So and of course, I can't like start off such a lavish Sunday brunch without Pani Puri. In case you have never tried Pani Puri, it is one of my favorite Indian foods, hands down. So it is a crunchy, hollow golf ball filled with mashed chickpeas or potatoes and then you add in the liquid. It sounds very strange actually if you're a foreigner, but it's literally one of the best things ever. Oh. Next for the starters, going in for the sushi. Conrad Bengaluru really has one of my favorite sushis because they use quite a lot of cream cheese. This is one with asparagus and cream cheese. So just adding some wasabi on top of that, and then dip it in the soy sauce. Yum. Mm. Today is a very festive brunch, but actually Conrad Bengaluru does a thematic brunch every single week. So whenever you come here, you will be surprised by, for instance, next week, an emoji brunch have you ever been to an emoji sunday brunch i haven't seen it before the week after that it will be vintage and the week after that it will be a christmas sunday brunch so it actually never gets boring and i think especially if you're coming with your family or with your kids it's fun to be surprised this way every single week moving into the bread section oh my gosh look at these cute little rolls they look straight out of a french bakery and next to it, I think we have slices of actual baguette. Then we have a cream cheese pesto and mushroom danish. Then a ciabatta and a chia seeds ciabatta. Oh my goodness, so healthy. Then on top is a garlic and mushroom focaccia. Then we got papa roti. Whoa, okay, I haven't seen that before. Definitely very curious to try that. Then moving into, oh, 
delicious multigrain sourdough. This is my favorite, especially with cheese. I love this. I can eat so much of this kind of bread. Then we got hazelnut rocher cruffin. <gasps> next level okay definitely on my bucket list for this sunday brunch spread then we got some very very festive croissants oh look at this it's so festive oh my gosh that looks so beautiful then we got more festive danishes so these are mixed berries danishes wow these look so beautiful i'm definitely getting into the festive mood over here then we got caramel banana donuts okay yeah, definitely hit me with those delicious donuts. Then we got a regular sourdough bread, which I also really, really love. We got some muffins over here. I'm guessing some blueberry muffins and I'm guessing some regular muffins in the back. Then we got Turkish Delight croissants. <gasps> These look so festive. Wow. I got the mushroom Danish over here as well. This one, if you don't eat eggs, then it's not for you. But I don't mind eggs if they're like inside the pastry or whatever. Love me a savory Danish. I got this cute roll as well. And I'm actually going to dip it in the soup. I had to try the cow suey soup because that also you don't see that often in Sunday brunches. I'm just dipping it like a proper, proper Dutchie. Hmm. Absolute must try. Oh my gosh, that soup is so good. Wow. It's really nice because Bengaluru is a little bit chillier these days. And then this is a nice way to warm up. Mm. Going in for a second bite. Must try, absolute must try. I also got a really, really pretty drink here. I wrecked it a little bit, but it was so pretty when I got it. I think one of the most pretty cocktails that I've ever had. I mean, okay, yeah, I wrecked it, but it looked very pretty when I got it. So it's my fault actually. So feeling festive. <laughs> More food. I got the Turkish Delight croissant here. Now that is something very interesting that I've never tried in my life and very curious to try it. Are you curious to see what's on the inside? I am. <laughs> mm. So it's green on the inside. There's definitely pistachio and I think there's pistachio cream on the inside. I'm not eating this graciously, but it's okay because it's delicious. I get it. So there's a pistachio cream on the inside and then there's a rose flavor as well. So it's definitely a Turkish delight croissant. Oh, this is delicious. I'm loving the rose angle of this then i had to go for that pretty pretty berry danish it is currently strawberry season here in india in some parts of india but you will get strawberries all across india so whenever it's strawberry season you eat strawberries mm -hmm. oh yum can't go wrong with fresh berries on sunday mm. This is a salad section. So we got two types of salads, so many different types of dressings. We got capers over here. We got some mushrooms. If you enjoy that in your salad, I think that's a great vegetarian option. And then we also have some sprouts in the back, two different types of sprouts, a beautiful fruit salad. I love how this is served. And then we have two different, wait, three different types of hummus. So I think we have the regular one over here. I think this is a carrot hummus and then this one should be beetroot yeah that's definitely a beetroot then we have some tzatziki over here and of course some baba ganoush now moving on further to one of my favorite sections ever this cheese section we got some delicious types of cheeses i'm guessing this is an adam over here and then we got some mozzarella balls in the back oh we got some burrata oh my gosh the burrata here is delicious so you should definitely try that and then I think we got some Emmentaler and some Brie in here and of course some cheddar cheese. Then we're going further into the salad section. There are 30 different types of salads over here. We got all kinds of different cold cuts and um, you can find turkey bacon with chicken here, chicken with spinach. We got fish with prunes, fish and bell pepper. This looks very, very interesting. If you're non-veg, that definitely looks amazing and so interesting to try. I haven't seen this many cold cuts and if you know these type of special cold cuts at a Sunday brunch before, so that's definitely worth trying. And then we're going to move into the grilled vegetables. So we got some bok choy over here. We got some delicious asparagus. Then of course some grilled capsicum, 
some um i think this is cabbage and then we got some mushrooms over here what is this i'm guessing also some type of root vegetable over here baby corn broccoli oh my favorite eggplant grilled eggplant for the win wow oh and baby carrots oh that's so cute we got some grilled onions over here and some mushrooms over here then oh look at these beautiful salads on top what is this southern style sliced lamb and egg salad that looks fantastic absolutely amazing then we're moving into the southern style fish cob and sweet potatoes over here wow look at this this is so pinterest perfect my goodness that looks beautiful then we got chili and corn and barbecue chicken salad and over here we got cajun spice chard apple and avocado salad with mustard honey dressing i mean oh my goodness how pretty does this look we got some delicious uh, veg shots over here i'm guessing this might be some uh maybe like meat juice it definitely looks very very healthy <laughs> then we got an asian prawn salad wrap lettuce wow this all looks so appealing then we got paprika roasted sweet potato and mixed lentil salad in the back we got honey roasted pumpkin salad and with chickpeas and sun-dried tomatoes okay definitely going on my list i have never been this excited about a salad spread before because this looks fantastic 30 plus salad dishes can you imagine okay wait here also curry chicken salad with grapes wow that looks so pretty so one thing you have to know about cornbread they're very health focused so i think that's why the salad spread is so delicious and so widespread if you're looking out for your health then definitely this is something to consider then we got indonesian coconut and vegetable salad oh my gosh so pretty each and every one of them is so pretty it's like a little artwork and then we got slow cooked carrot and artichoke with tahini yogurt dressing fabulous oh look at this more i think this is beetroot juice oh my gosh the health i love it delicious health look at this this is called delicious health beautiful i love it i had to try out those salads because they look fantastic and there's so many varieties can you imagine like 30 plus varieties of salads and then they look so delicious who am i and what has conrad bengaluru done to me that i'm eating salads at a sunday brunch like what so satisfying let's go into the indian section one of my favorite sections because we got really really delicious food in the indian section at conrad bengaluru we got a martaban ke gulnar which is baby potato cooked in masala gravy and pomegranate finished with cucumber seeds wow that sounds very very decadent then in the back we got darbar el dal so 24 hour cooked black lentil tomato cream butter and fenugreek dal delicious so dal is basically a lentil gravy which you would eat with roti or rice and then we have paneer jalfrezi yum cottage cheese onion strips tomato and red chili paste over here we got a mushroom makana and then we have korg baimbale kari bamboo shoot cooked with korg special masala i definitely want to try that that sounds delicious and then over here we have avial which is mixed vegetables with spices Ooh, I love avial. Avial is delicious. We've got Indian main courses over here. So murg butter masala, chicken butter masala, which is what most uh, foreigners eat the first thing when they come to India. Then we got mean muranga kakari. I'm not sure what that is, but it is non-veg. And then we got gosht nihari. So gosht is, I think, is it goat? I think it is. Or mutton. Oh no, it's mutton. It's mutton. Gosht nihari. So mutton. Over here we got many different types of papad over here. The crunchy snacks. This is also delicious. We got takali rasam over here, which is a tomato gravy. Yum. Okay, and then we have tandoori shabnam nemoti, marinated mushrooms cooked in tandoor oven. These are clearly very popular. Then we got Thai corn cake with sweet chili dip. Okay, Tintin have to try that. 
jalapeno cheese poppers very famous always a comfort food we got drums of heaven with sesame seeds over here and then uh yeah the prawns are gone like instantly the buffet just opened and the prawns are gone but there are prawns here lamb shami kebab over here so if you want some non-veg then definitely that is it going in for a full buffet plate i got indian food mixed with malaysian food and asian food indonesian food it is all in there what i first wanted to try out was that drumstick because i i just recently started liking drumsticks and i saw it in the avial and i was like oh my gosh drumsticks drumsticks for life hmm. i don't know what happened to me i did not like drumsticks at all until i had this onam in an onam sadia and it's just yes drumstick going in for that paneer gel frazi the rice actually also looks good am i the only one who has like an obsession with good white rice i mean good white rice and then like a good paneer dish heaven this is what i mean mm. it hits your soul in the best places oh my gosh that is what i needed <laughs> ultimate comfort food i'm gonna try that dal as well because it it sounded very tasty so i'm like let me try that dal so good trying the yellow noodles with um with the mushrooms actually let's see again super super comfort food my gosh mm. i love how there's a perfect combination of decadent dishes but then also like solid solid comfort foods like that's also what you need on a sunday right you want to experiment but at the same time you also just want to eat really yummy food yes I wish I had space to try the pasta, but I, I just can't. Like, this is my third round. I still want to go in for a very, very big plate of dessert. So I'm not even, like, touching the pasta because I hate food wastage. It's also really not my thing. But um, that pasta also looked really, really good. <laughs> Let's get into the dessert section with this hazelnut slice. Oh my goodness, that looks so tasty. If you love chocolate and hazelnuts, praline, then this is definitely a delicious dessert. Behind it, we got a caramelized apple tart. Wow, this looks like straight made in a French bakery. So beautiful. We got two different types of Indian desserts, kaju pista barfi. Kaju means cashew nuts and pista means pistachio. So it's a dry fruit based Indian desserts. This one is the kaju pista amrut and this one is the kaju pista tin pan. Then we got a caramel gâteau over here. Wow, look at the chocolate work on that. My goodness. And then we got a berry and apricot entremé. My gosh, wow, the chocolate work. Hazelnut praline cake over here. That looks fantastic. And then we got a red cherry and buttercream gâteau. I learned from you guys that a gâteau means cake in French. So yeah, definitely looks fantastic. And I think this is also a mixed berry gâteau looks fantastic then we got a wild berries and crunchy sable Ooh, that sounds very very interesting and then we got a chocolate salted caramel cake <gasps> wow look at that top don't you want to just slice that or maybe not it just looks like artwork then we got more indian desserts over here more varieties of kaju pista barfi so this is a roll and then over here we got another kaju pista variety but then this is anjir barfi and anjir means figs it's one of my favorite indian desserts with anything with anjir i really really love it and then on top there is another kaju pista barfi very very decadent i have to say more desserts because this dessert section has 30 plus desserts if you want to try them all maybe just stick to the dessert section or come by more often let's see toffee almond petite gâteau so small oh, delicious cakes that looks so pretty then we got chocolate chip almond cake we got mango sago pudding. Ooh, I love the Asian touch because sago is very, very Asian. Then we got vanilla and nougat, nougat roulade on chocolate sable. These look so pretty, guys. Oh my gosh. 1010 for aesthetics. Wow. Then we got, I'm guessing, some mixed berry uh, baked yogurt in the back. And then we got some blue velvet pastry. Have you guys ever tried that? Blue velvet pastry. I have never seen that before and i haven't tried it before then we got classic italian tiramisu and strawberry mousseline so i'm guessing there's a lot of strawberry mousse in there and then in the back oh look at these beautiful beautiful chocolate mouille 
Muyo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it looks so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at the details. Look at these flowers on top. How stunning is this? Then we got a mixed berry semifredo. And we got, what is this? A matcha tea financier. Wow. That looks absolutely decadent. My goodness. Then I think this is a blueberry baked yogurt. Also looks absolutely fantastic. And then finally, well, we are reaching the end of this buffet, but it is crazy extravagant. We got vanilla glazed coconut slices over here. We got more of that blue velvet cake. And we got oats pudding with hazelnut crumble. So if you want to be healthy again, it is definitely deliciously healthy. I can't with this dessert buffet. This is wild. So beautiful. 10-10 for aesthetics. Like, I can't. It is so pretty. See, this is why I was keeping so much space in my stomach because I wanted to go all out on those beautiful desserts and I definitely did not hold back. I, <laughs> I have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine desserts in front of me. I'm gonna do my best to eat them all but uh, luckily I have good company so we can also share. And I'm going to start out with... Oh, what should I start out with? Okay, let me start out with the Anjir Barfi actually because India man. We're in India so you gotta start out with the Indian dessert. <laughs> Figs. Oh, so good. Next I want to try that cherry cake because it almost looks like a black forest cake. Let's see. That is so yum. So creamy. Yet so fresh from the berries. That one is a must try. Try the berry cake. If it's there, when the theme buffet is there. And then I actually cut into that caramel gâteau. I'm having all the gâteaux and the entremets and everything. Very satisfying to cut into that. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Ooh. So it's not overly sweet. I like that a lot. There's like hazelnut in there with the caramel. Yum. Guys, seriously, do you get like two or three desserts at the dessert buffet like this, or do you just go all out like I do? I need to know. Let me know down in the comments below because why would you hold back? I don't get it. The whole Sunday brunch is an experience, and I feel like it's not an experience if you're holding back. So eat whatever you want to eat. Mm. This was a berry and apricot entremet. Again, not too sweet. Very creamy. I'm going in for all these beautiful, beautiful cakes. Okay, this breaks my heart to cut into these, but like it has to happen, right? Okay, so we're just doing this. Let's go for the semifredo. Oh, satisfying, no? Oh, look at the filling. Oh my gosh, yes. Yum. Okay, can't wait to try this. This is a very big bite because it looks so pretty and I want to take a big bite. <laughs> It's almost like a strawberry marshmallow. Yum! <laughs> when you go for the brush, I hope this one is there for you. Let me try that matcha one. I'm very curious because in general, I don't like too much matcha. Who knows? Maybe this one will surprise me. Okay. Okay. Ooh, you can clearly see the layers. Beautiful layering of the cream and the matcha cake. Who has been watching too much MasterChef? I have. Uh, but beautiful. Lovely. Let's try this. Again, a big bite. I don't know why, because I don't even like matcha that much, but I'm just curious. Mm. That cake is so moist. It might get the award of the most moist cake that I've had this whole year. And that's a huge compliment. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one is so good. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, I'm excited to try the next one as well. If I can give you a pro tip, definitely, definitely, definitely save half of your tummy space for the dessert buffet. <laughs> as I have because I just saw that that dessert buffet was too good and I, I held back on the other dishes, 100%. I think this is vanilla berry something. Ooh, look at that cream <gasps> and the raspberry on top. Oh, wow, what it, what are these layers? Look at that. Ooh, patisserie chef. Beautiful, beautiful job. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm a judge on Australia Master Chef, I wish. But um, let's see, I need that raspberry in my life. Oh, and another big bite. Yes. I'm so excited. 
I swear. Come for this Sunday brunch. Just for the desserts. Don't mind the other food that I mentioned. It's fine. It's good. There are delicious things in there. You can just come for the dessert buffet. That's the best part of being an adult, right? You can just decide, like, hey, today, I'm just going to have desserts for the Sunday brunch. Next level. Excited for the next one. <laughs> I could do this all day. I wish, I wish I had a tummy space to try all of the desserts, but there's no chance. I mean, I have nine. I have nine desserts here. Like, what? Okay, going in for the hazelnut one. Oh, oh, oh so good. And I'm so looking forward to that mango sago pudding as well. What a Sunday. I am so happy. <gasps> Look at that beautiful beautiful oh look at those distinct layers oh look at the glaze on top oh my gosh oh you beauty can't wait to take a bite wait not a huge bite oh i'm ruining it okay why okay let's just go with this it's all of the hazelnut and caramel goodiness yum if you love chocolate with hazelnuts caramel I mean, you can never go wrong with this. Oh my gosh, that's, that's just so good. The mango sago one. Let's see, ooh, so excited. Oh, this may sound weird, but this might be my favorite. The mango is like literally taking over my soul. It's not too sweet. The consistency of the pudding is perfect. Heaven, I tell you, heaven. If you love mangoes, you have to go for this one. 100% go for this one. Ooh, that's dessert buffet. 30 plus dessert next level i would recommend a sunday brunch just because of the dessert buffet it is insane and and bonus tip if you actually download the hilton honors app and you know you start booking rooms anyways at the hilton hotels you'll start collecting points and you will start building up tiers and that will actually also give you discounts when you come to the restaurants so for instance, the minimum discount that you can get is like 20%. And if you're a diamond member, you will get 25% off if you're dining in the Hilton restaurants. Uh, 10 10 recommend the app. Download is free, so you might as well just go for it. You have nothing to lose, my friends. You have only dessert buffets to win. Let me know which dish of this Conrad Bengaluru Sunday brunch surprised you the most and which one you would like to try the most. I am just in awe of that dessert buffet. Also make sure to share this video with as many people as possible to show them how amazing this Sunday brunch at Conrad Bengaluru is or you know to just give them hints that they should take you here or maybe you want to take them here. Make sure to put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to join 270,000 other subscribers. It's free and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. For now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!